I've added some attachment helper tools for these pylons. I've got three different vehicles set up here with pylons attached in different ways. So we'll go look at uh, how they're set up and what they do. So this one is just attached right to the vehicle uh, and um, you shoot it and then if you move it, it'll just rotate with the vehicle. The simplest. This one is attached to the barrel of the turret here and it also elevates uh, with it, but it's also matching the barrel's direction. Uh, so you don't have to finely align it or uh, possibly have a misalignment and then have something like this not to fit. And then over here, this is attached to the turret, but uh, it is not uh, obviously aligned with the turret. It is off for its uh, direction but it'll maintain that relative orientation. So for example, if we get the barrel to point up, you can see that it's uh, it's just on the turret and it's not uh, aiming up with the barrel. I'm gonna take a look at how that's done. So over here, um, got this uh, vehicle named V1 and then in the pylons attributes we're going to attach it to V1 so it's this is the simplest setup so uh, I'll just duplicate that real quick here uh, go. sure one one so get a remote pylon Give it a weapon, attach it to V1, uh, one, and then you can place it uh, however you like. So, and then that'll just be attached uh, to the vehicle chassis. This one is V2, and this one is attached to the barrel of the main turret here. So we'll do that. Another one, uh, this is 2 1. This is going to attach to V2 1 to the main turret. So we've got tooltips here. So this is the variable name uh, of the vehicle that should carry the pylon. This is the turret path or the name of the bone. You'll see that uh, the second option in the, on the tank here. So. This is the main turret turret path, and it's going to match the barrel orientation. So, for example, if you've already uh, rotated this, it doesn't really matter. Um, you don't have to match it uh, super well. You can just roughly eyeball it. And also, if the barrel starts aimed up or something like that, so you don't have to match it super well. So it'll stay up here, and then but it'll aim with the turret. Then third type. So oh, this is 3-1, get another guy here, this one's going to have the 2 times side wonders, so I rotate, rotate, there we go, so this is 3-1, Attach to uh, V31, and it's going to attach to the. Um, this is the axis uh, of the gun, so it stays with the turret but doesn't go up and down. And then we're going to not match orientation. That doesn't snap to any particular orientation, but it just stays in the relative position exactly where I've put it. So let's give that a shot. So this is our, this guy, this thing, on the turret, you can see how this is exactly on, uh, on line with the turret, you know, it's, the position is offset, but the direction is exactly matching the turret, 
And this one is just uh, staying still wherever we put it. And we can take a look here. We make the gunner spot. I'm just about to stop looking. It's uh, directly online with the turret, and um, it's it. set the remote trigger back in to the gunner seat. You can uh, select the rocket pod, arm it, and then fire. So yeah, that should be a lot easier to use, uh, especially from the editor. I still want to make uh, a way for you to realign things in the game without needing uh, editor access, but uh, that'll be uh, work in progress. Alright, thank you so much.